You failed. I triumphed. have to wait. I'm not finished with you. Not yet. You fail. I triumphed. A new cycle begins.
come back? I saw the lights up there. I hate those awful things. Why won't they just leave us alone? It's all right. I'm here now. Nothing's going to hurt you. Promise you won't leave me alone like that again, Dad. Allie, I have to go find supplies. We're low on food and firewood. Remember seeing the cargo ship? In the mountains? I bet that's full of supplies. It's too far right now, Allie. We'll just... have to make do. Go, Dad.
What's that skulking around? A rat. Fat chance. Ooh! <laughs> 
wish I had a friend. Are there any kids out there? Almost there. I can see the pipe now and the metal shield over the security window. Get inside! Blizzard! The storm won't get us in here. Will it, Dad? White blankets coming to cover you.
the icy breath of the storm. It's coming. Lizard, Dad. Listening to Radio WBFG. I'm Ree Frazier. You should check if there are more people out there.
Bye, Dad. Don't be gone too long.
failed. I triumphed. A new cycle begins. <gasps> people out there.
See me? Wait. Please, I need your help. I don't have much time. They want to erase me. They want to erase who I am. They're coming. Who 
not deface the pages of this manifesto. This is a disaster. This is poison. Who fed you this poison? It was the librarian, wasn't it? That snake. How did nobody see these being distributed? Cooper, get us some water. Sovereign water from the commissary. Go! Where is it? Not the defaced manifesto. Where is it? Tell me, or I'll tell them. But you are them. <gasps> I don't... I don't know what you're talking about. Child, where is it? Where's what? I did not call for please rock. Our computer scrubbed the word poison. I have to check it out. It's not like that, Derringer. I can handle this plecal myself. Look, I need to know if someone's poisoning the food and water supply in this place. I am talking about this, you idiot. Poison for the mind. It's just a manifesto. Not just. It's been contaminated. These are the words of Zager. Zager is dead. But I guess we could dig him up and shoot him again. Anything else, Murray? What? That's not enough? The girl's infected. Found reading contraband. Third offense. We are taking her I didn't to read anything! I am in charge, You will put her in a confinement cell. There will be no recalibration without my authority. Fine. Just do it before the arrival. And watch your step. Watch your step. You ever shut up? Bring her a blanket. I don't want her freezing to death before tomorrow. Good evening, citizens of Metamorphosis. As we make our final preparations, we must be extra vigilant. Recent events have brought us the capture and killing of a man whose sinister, disgusting actions caused no small amount of grief. You know who I am referring to. I will not speak his name again. But even though he has been eliminated, other threats remain. Just tonight, another treasonist was attempting to infect the minds of our youngest and brightest with lies, masquerading as divine text. This Mimeo apostate will be dealt with in the same manner as the one who inspired him. Keep a watchful eye out for our Republic. My friends, and in return, she will watch over you.
see me? You can see me in there. Yeah. What's the difference? There's no way you can help me from there. You're just another pair of eyes watching me. Did you do that? Did you open the door? I don't know who you are or how you're doing this, but somehow you found a way into this place. Can you help me find a way out? Hello. Please do not be alarmed by the sound of my voice. My name's Cooper. I am communicating with you in text-to-speech because it is too risky for me to use my real voice. I am the one who found the phone in the girl's room just a moment ago. I've returned the phone to her because she is in danger and I wish to help her. It seems you wish to help her too. I do not presume that you are as technically inclined as I am. So I will skip the occupational lingo and get directly to the point. The phone she's carrying is a link, giving you access to our facility's online network. It is called, OmniView. By entering OmniView, you can easily move from one camera to another. To keep the girl out of sight, you'll need to scout ahead for her. The rest I'll explain as you go. Good luck. I'm sure you can hack it in this place. That was a joke, by the way. Sometimes my humor gets lost in translation. Sanchez. Yes, madam. Don't forget to give her the sodium thiopental injection. Yes, madam. Looks like one of my colleagues has left a pin code sitting out for everyone to see. I long for the days when basic common sense was a prerequisite for gainful employment. Unhand me. <clears throat> I've apprehended the subject.
Subject is locked up. I've apprehended the girl. the subject to confinement. into pick his pockets. Got it. As a certified Kickstarter addict, my humble key recenter is filled with enough side-scrolling chiptune games to fill a lifetime's worth of the Reagan era. Shovel Knight is one of the good ones though, an 8-bit homage that marries old-school platforming with cutting-edge game design. I cry a little tear whenever I lose my hard-earned gold after a clumsy mistake, and I love it. If 2014 had a baby with 1989, she'd look a whole lot like Shovel Knight. This is P0 brand pepper spray. You can equip this for the girl in the bottom left corner of your screen. Each canister contains a single shot. It will temporarily disable guards, but be careful. Before long, they'll be back on patrol and angrier than ever. P0 here. Got 
get killed in firefight with Prizrak. The depravity of this man was boundless. Best to remove the comments section for the online edition. And change shot dead by Prizrak to killed in firefight by Prizrak. This way it suggests he was given a sporting chance. When the surveillance video of this day surfaces, and it will, it's going to require major surgery if they want it to look like justice. This is P0 brand pepper spray. Few games make us think about the stories and secrets we all keep hidden from others. Gone Home is a beautiful game, one I found myself ruminating on long after its credits. I found myself thinking on the Overseer's manifesto and his crusade for a more idyllic society. Our relationship with technology provides order and control. Yet, even in a place like this, there are things even cameras can't see. Can you open this box? We can recharge here. This is a battery charging station. Certain Omni abilities will drain the battery on the girl's phone. You'll see her battery life displayed in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Direct the girl to any recharging station to juice up. Collected contraband is up by 47% in recent months. For a secure location, you would be surprised by what we find in their pockets. Welcome to my domain. Hey there, you just found a data broker terminal. These are located throughout the facility. Any data you collect by scanning items in OmniView 
can be traded to the data broker in exchange for new Omni abilities. Omni abilities are valuable tools for gathering information and assuming control of the girl's environment. This is P0 brand. Do you see the door there? That's where I have to go. If I can get to the library, I can find the librarian. He can protect me. Hey, Clark. You can sleep when you're dead. Come on. Derringer wants us to lock up the atrium. I had a dream I won the lottery. Yeah? What was the jackpot? Ten thousand. You gotta dream bigger than that if you wanna buy your way out of here. Now's our chance. Let's go through this door. Can you hack the door? It didn't work. Hello. It is Cooper again. You cannot open that door with your current version of the OmniView software. You will need to update your software at a daemon server. Upgrade to version 1.0 and you can open this door. Then, you can get the girl to the library. The nearest demon is in the commissary on the other side of the dorms. I will add this waypoint to your map. Proceed with caution. It seems like you have a plan. What do we need to do?
a fingerprint scan. It would be terrible if this got into the wrong hands. They would have a lot of power at their fingertips. Hint, hint. This was the best game I played in 2012, but I didn't stop playing it then. I find myself going back to Journey whenever I need a pick-me-up, a reminder that life is a journey, that this world is beautiful, that humanity is good, if given the proper rules to live by. Good idea. We can recharge here. The Prizrak waged their campaign against Zagor from this very room. The following conversation was recorded two months ago. Listen, Prizrak, calling the man a menace doesn't give him the credit he deserves. Put another team on scrubbing through the footage. I will, sir. Though so far the camera network hasn't been terribly effective. Zagor's a human being, not some phantom. He casts a shadow like the rest of us. And I'm giving you more than you should need to find him now. Should that prove too difficult for you? No, sir. I understand. Watch your step. Going into pick his pockets. Got it.
let them eat cake. Had Marie Antoinette said that to her teammates during a death match in Fat Princess, she probably would have kept her head. In this endlessly entertaining action RTS, eating cake is a means of restoring your character's health. The mission is straightforward enough, rescue a Reuben-esque royal, and feed her as much cake as you can carry until she's too heavy for the opposing team to carry her. Irresponsible eating has never been this much fun. That's more than I can carry. There are few things, Librarian, as disappointing as failed leadership, especially when that leadership fails by giving in to mental illness or desire. Hawthorne came from a line of leaders, but you wouldn't know that by reading his account of Dimsdale. The Scarlet Letter would teach our citizens that its leadership can succumb to the weaknesses that we work daily to cure. Such doubt is unacceptable. Where would we be without faith in government? I would pronounce the team behind this freaky little game, but text-to-speech has a hard time with the word Simogo. These guys did some light-hearted games before making Year Walk. When I played this game, it really frightened me. How do you go from such happiness like Bumpy Road to a psychological head trip like this one is beyond me. I hope these guys didn't fry their brains. Hey fishy, you hungry? Here you go. What does the world look like to you? Fishy, I'll tell you a secret. I like a boy who lives on the other hall. The one we call Weep. He sits beside me in history class and he's adorable. I'm too shy to talk to him. Three nine zero H. My dear, my inspiring pupil. I know you're not accustomed to gifts, but this is more than just some trinket. It is a secret between you and I, and it cannot be shared until we are both ready. So I will keep the key for safekeeping until the two of us agree to open it together. Until then, I hope you will treasure its beauty as much as I do you. And when you gaze upon it, I hope your thoughts will be of me. Pyramid flags flutter in the wind. His voice carries above them, singing a promise to lead these men to honor, protect, and love them. From his garden perch, he keeps us secure against the forces of evil. He spares our minds the hollow allure and fraud of Zager's upheaval. 
The Republic stands and will for all time, safe from ruin or disaster. Because he is watching out for us all, our noble and wise headmaster. See what he's carrying. Everything looks good. I got something. They call Super Hexagon a Twitch game. I doubt even Doc Holliday had quick enough reflexes for this one. I've never gotten farther than 3.5 seconds. It's intense. I don't know if that's because it gives me vertigo, or because of the ominous lady shouting game over every time I die. secure. When I play Kentucky Route Zero, I'm transported to my childhood. I can smell the coffee-stained computer in my father's home office. Conway's surrealistic point-and-click adventure is something best experienced on a quiet Sunday morning. As the sunlight pours into the room, I wonder when the developers at Cardboard Computer will release the next episode. I don't mind waiting though. Every new episode is a gift. You have just found a new battery for the girl's phone. 
Some OmniView abilities require battery power, and will not work when the girl's phone is not well charged. You will probably find more batteries lying around this facility. You may also recharge the phone at a demon server or inside confinement rooms. I'll take this. Pursuit of 390H. Let go of me! <gasps> it burns! He's already been hit. If the girl needs to circumvent a room full of prayers rack, the vents are a good way to travel.
sign of the girl. here. Destiny was my favorite jam of 2014. I just want to live in a tight fantasy sci-fi world, blasting away at enemies, dancing in the tower, and taking a breather while in the majestic aurora of orbit. Destiny is the rock and roll of games today. Even its stiff-necked detractors are quietly tapping their toe to its infectious beat. Going after the subject. Damn door is stuck. I can't get this open. Good idea. My battery was getting low. The door's locked. I need an override. We lost the subject. Got my post secure. He's got me. I've captured three nine zero H.
Where'd you get all this stuff? Looks like the Prizrak just took all of the girl contraband items. No call for panic. If you want to get these items back, you'll need to have the girl pickpocket the offending Prizrak once she's out of the cell. Subject is in confinement. Gravity Rush is secretly one of the most innovative games from Japan in the past few years. I love everything about this game, the thrill of its gravity-defying platforming, its twisted Parisian aesthetic, and even the name of the heroine's black cat, Dusty. You may not know a ton about Japanese culture, I'm an expert. But Gravity Rush is called Gravity Days in Japan. That's so much cooler. I need a screwdriver to open this vent. Nothing to report. <gasps> the door! How a 
Pull you out of your cage. Marie. I gave you a stay of execution and this is how you repay me. Marie is coming. Well, those flickering embers of clemency have gone cold. There must be another way out of here. That file is dead and so have we. So are you when I get down there. There must be something you can do. Before we can look to the future, we must look to the one who will lead us there. The Monopolist unifies different industries under the banner of righteous service to promote the common good. The greedy industrialist owns and owns and owns. She stifles the research that would threaten her financial bottom line. The civil engineer takes what is true, regardless of source, and puts it to use for safety and comfort. The lustful poet's vulgar winds blow down the walls of our house, exploding beauty into decadence. The monopolist unifies different industries under the banner of righteous service to promote the common good. The overseer secures the bonds between us all. Only let him serve and you will be served in return. The neighborly policeman gives the children time to settle down, maintaining law and order with rare discipline. Wisely, the politician shows that serving the people is the path to sane obedience. The slothful union man spends more time relaxing beneath the shade tree than sweating atop the scaffold. The state artist seeks only to educate her neighbors against the ordinary, exposing the beauty in truth. The mad inventor covets his results and denies his peers' data, always envious of Mother Nature's perfection. The civil engineer takes what is true, regardless of source, and puts it to use for safety and comfort. Nice the working work. class heroes keep their heads down and their minds on the tasks that edify and advance the human race. Okay, let's get out of here before she shows up.
Nicely done. You are one cool customer. Now you have the Omni software update needed to access the library door. I have set a new waypoint to lead you back to the atrium. Before going back to the atrium, I recommend unlocking a few Omni abilities at this terminal. A screwdriver. These are great for opening vents, but they are flimsy and will often break. Hopefully, there's more than one lying around. A screwdriver. They should... Censorship AI to be updated, expanded. Profanity. An assault on young and old alike. Now that has gone too far. You can have my right to privacy. You can have my booze and caffeine and chocolate, but when you take away my right to curse a blue streak, you leave me with nothing to say. For once, in my job, I am absolutely speechless. Fake passports and foreign currency. The overseer has an escape plan. Even if the rest of us do not. Mr. Trangle is off. Vice Admiral Matthews of the Pacific Fleet. Pacific? You're a long way from home, Admiral. So are you, if I'm to believe the rumors. First time in Washington, sir? Hardly. I was told General Karnofsky was heading up this project. The general retired over the holidays. I'm overseeing now, from a military standpoint at least. I see. Apologies if I seem hurried. I have a meeting with the new superintendent of the Naval Academy at one. That's in five minutes. Like I said. Well, it's hardly enough time to pitch my vision. I've, um, so I've read over your evaluative study and we've taken your recommendations into account. Is this a joke to you? Excuse me? Your security? The security of your country is at stake. Now you listen here. I dedicate my life to the protection and security of the United States. If you think you have a better approach, we'll entertain it. But do not come in here and make threats. I've made no such thing. And try to muscle some wildly expensive cryptographic software through the door. You can pay today to prevent a catastrophe. Or you'll pay tomorrow to clean it up. Okay. That's a threat. Right there. You get out of my office. Now! Hey, hey, Dolores. Yes, lock the door behind him. I don't want to see Mr. Treglas off anywhere near this building again. You understand? What the hell? No, I'm here. No, he, he left uh, something on my desk. No, I, I don't think we need the bomb squad. It's a... a pin. It's just a... like a lapel pin. One of the great terrors of literature is its ability to touch a reader's unspoken experience. But you understand, librarian, a republic requires peace between its citizens. Animal Farm gives voice to bigoted trends we must erase. Its laws separate citizens into different body types. Those with two legs and four legs and wings. It's a short jump from this fiction to realizing that you've never liked the color of your neighbor's skin. This one belongs in a cage. Come in, Eddie. It's over. You have a lot in a cage. The screwdriver broke.
Got my post secure. Nice. Oh no. <clears throat> I've apprehended the subject. Get all the stuff. Subject is locked up. Recal. Last month, a precal got their hands on a canister of pepper spray. They blinded a loyalist prisrac during routine inspection. See what he's got on him. I got something. Rizrak, checking in. Consumers don't know what they want, or at least that's what a bunch of corporate executives tell themselves every day. In the case of 2D venue games, most publishers stop funding these so they can focus on crappy mobile games for babies. 
Thanks to bold India developers like Tom Hap and Axiom Verge, we don't need no stinking corporation to make the games we want. I'll be taking this. Quiet tonight. On my way to apprehend the subject. Bring up the dreadlock. Oh no, Prisrak. And he sees me. Let go! I've apprehended the girl. Subject to confinement. The body is strange, librarian. Oxytocin and endorphins lead so many to mistake robotic chemical responses for emotional attachments. Worse, though is what Burroughs promotes. He suggests deviant behavior as a mechanical way around the trappings of societal control. We cannot let people think their bodies are ways around the state. They must exercise the Republique with their bodies in everything they do, everything. Throw naked lunch in the pile.
going in to pick his pockets. Nice. They won't find me. Good. In pursuit of 390H. I've captured the subject. been busy. Captive is in confinement.
Nothing going. Rizrak, checking in. All's quiet here. Recently, the children in Metamorphosis have become more brazen in their attempts to take things from the Prizrak. Surely, this was Zager's influence. Howdy, partner. 
It is me, Cooper. I'm feeling pretty confident since I have gotten you this far. I have a plan to get the girl through the library's security checkpoint. But first, you must proceed to the power station. I will explain there. Look for the power station waypoint in Omniview. I once spent some time, stuffed in a locker. This may surprise you, but I wasn't very popular in high school. Based RPG, half Viking soap opera, the Banner Saga really has no business existing, which is why it warms my cold gamer heart that my fellow gamers kickstarted this game into existence. The team at Stoic delivered on their ambitious promises, and helped prove that us gamers can spot a hot new IP even when big publishers cannot. A good reminder, use the cameras to see what's in the next room. Sager cassette. If you find a cassette player, perhaps you could hear what is on it. I remember. Well, Derringer and the Overseer got what they wanted. 
a trophy kill. I'm surprised they didn't drag Zager's body through the facility as a warning to all of the would-be revolutionaries. Recharge here. Welcome to my domain. What would you like? Sorry to see you go. Oh, pepper spray. Nabokov, a pornographer whose sins surpass even pornography. Humbert Humbert, the moral straggler, does not enlighten. His aesthetic tantrums for nymphettes merely confuse. Lolita proffers that the sex drive is bound to perception of beauty, all bound in craven lust for a child. If such a wretch is allowed speech, all manner of perversions will romp through our facility. 
and with that, the twin demons of subjectivity and dissent. Lock it up. If you find a cassette player, perhaps you could hear what is on it. I remember seeing an old boombox when we ransacked one of Zager's hideout. The team at Supergiant quit their cushy corporate jobs, moved in together, and cranked out this seminal indie action game. Bastion is not only worth playing because of its strong narrative and action RPG elements, but because it was an early victory in the independent game revolution. Bravo, kid. The fall is so immersive, I find myself thinking like the protagonist while I play. Let's say I was a sentient Asimov AI, embedded in the suit of a space pilot critically injured in a crash landing. Would I reject my directives and fight for my life? Frankly, it's a dilemma best explored within the confines of the game. The eerie parallels to our current predicament are not lost on me. Cooper here. Now is our chance. Derringer just entered the library's security checkpoint and is fired up about something. Let's see what is going on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I'm heading to you now. Good evening, sir. Watch your step. You may enter the machine at any time. Are you always an idiot, or just when I'm around? Sir? What's your number, you stammering waste of space? Sir, I... I don't, I'm not I don't... going into that thing. Now, we've been over this before. Turn it off. But, sir... Turn it off, or you'll wake up a month from now in the infirmary. We have to get Derringer and the other Prizrak out of that room. I suggest we create a little chaos in the spirit of Zager. Tell the girl to power down the grid. Then, Derringer and the Prizrak will freak out. They'll leave the security checkpoint. Then you can send the girl through safely under cover of darkness. Power down the grid now.
Oops. Okay. So that's not good. It appears my plan has backfired. I should have thought this through better. Now, you must get the girl out of there before Derringer's men arrive. Sorry about all that. That plan did not go down as I hoped. But, the good news is that we have cleared out the library's security checkpoint. It is safe to send the girl through now. That was impressive. Sorry about the screw up back there. I guess I got a little overzealous. If you need my assistance going forward, I will be happy to oblige. But, it seems you are better suited to helping the girl escape than I am. If you succeed, make sure she doesn't forget about us pathetic souls trapped down here. Best of luck. Cooper, out. I owe you my life. What little of it is mine. Now let's get to the librarian. He'll help us. Please, stay with me. Who is this? If you're going to kill me, just get it over with. Shut up! If I actually wanted you dead, I would have given you to Dellinger earlier. Now walk slowly forward, ahead of me, and do not turn around. You are part of something that you cannot understand. There is more going on tonight than these cameras can capture. You took something that belongs to me. You called this interloper and brought them into our republic. And I will find out why. Derringer has a server with the nude images of every poor soul who stepped inside that body scanner. Except for Derringer himself, of course.
a broken collar. The pre-cow who wore it was also broken by Mireille, and that was before the Prizrak got their claws into him. Look at me. Honest eyes do not hide. Murray Azali Prido, July 14th at 0158. Dissection of a precal. Okay. State your name. Hope. <gasps> State your name. Three. Nine. Zero. H. Very good. Quit shaking. I'm going to ask you some questions in French. I find your English to be too clever. Des mots habiles peuvent camoufler la vérité. Tu sais ce qui arrive quand on ne dit pas la vérité. Qui t'a donné le journal de sa guerre? Je ne peux pas vous le dire, madame. Menteuse! Qui t'a appris à faire cette avance? Est-ce que ce traître a un nom? Comment est-ce qu'il t'aide? Qui a piraté notre système? Qui a attaqué nos prisrac? Qui t'a donné l'ordre d'attaquer nos prisrac? Je ne peux pas vous le dire, madame. Après tout ce que nous avons fait pour toi. You watch me. We look out for you. You lock me up. We protect you. From what? Yourself. The world beyond those walls is dead. And the ones who killed it would not hesitate to do the same to us. We survive only because they do not know we exist. I pray you have not doomed us all, child. What do they know? What do they know about our Republic? Que savent-ils sur notre République? Everything. Whatever you do to me, they'll be watching. You are late. I found a pre-cow here who has lost her way. There was no need for that. This one, I believe, will go quietly. Am I happy to see you? I'm in a bit of a situation here. Locked in. And I'm not alone. What should we do? How do we get out of this room? Mireille 
Azali Prido. That section of a precal. Some doors in metamorphosis require voice recognition data to open. It's Cooper. Good job getting the girl out of immediate danger. You seem to have a solid handle on things. With the arrival approaching, we're being watched more closely than ever and so I have to pretend to work. However, I'm installing a help desk in your OmniView display. Select the help desk icon if you need my expertise along the way. Good luck tonight. No doubt, the girl would be doomed without you. So the girl wants to find the librarian. I hope he can help her, but I fear she may overestimate his influence inside Metamorphosis. This place is changing, evolving into something even more sinister than its original purpose. In searching for the librarian, remember, you have a map. Use it to check out areas you've visited. If you find a cast... Resident Evil 4 1998 I'll never forget it It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains Soon after, the news was out to the whole world revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise Umbrella the virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, 
the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo. Who are you, really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you're crazy, American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out.
Excuse me. Sir? I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? ¡Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood.
Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Honigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks.
Where's everyone going? Bingo? Hunnigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it.
rough, don't you think? <clears throat> oh. You're not like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. Do you got a smoke? Got gum. Perfect. The big cheese. What? Feeble humans, let us give you our power. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. Wake up! Ay, ay, ay. Crawl out of one hole and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now, what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy, I'm not hey! Do something, cop! After you! Now! It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. Over here, stranger. Got 
about something that might interest you. <laughs> Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. What are you selling? Is that all str- <laughs> Thank you. Is that all stranger? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Is that all stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you.
Hay un rumor que hay un extranjero entre nosotros. Nuestro jefe se jugará de la rata. Si la plaga es mucho mejor que la nuestra. <risa> ¿Qué les pasó? <risa> You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. What? Same blood? Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah. But he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, there are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. Resident Evil 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! 
Shad here. We secured the underground route to the coordinates. Should have seen it coming. It didn't take long after the fall of the Umbrella Corporation for their bioweapons to end up in the hands of terrorists. A new era of bioterrorism descended upon vulnerable countries, shifting the balance of power throughout the region. People in the destabilized areas soon feared another incident like Raccoon City was inevitable. As panic spread, governments of the world turned to the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium which formed the anti-terrorism unit, BSAA. Operatives of the BSAA were sent to infiltrate and neutralize bioterrorist hotspots, restoring safety and stability to various regions around the globe. Welcome to Africa. My name is Sheva Alama. Chris Redfield. Your reputation precedes you, Mr. Redfield. It's an honor. Just Chris, thanks. So you'll be accompanying me to the destination? Yes. Tensions are running high ever since the change in government. I'll bet. Intel says it's a haven for terrorists now. And I'm not going to be happy to see an American, BSAA or not. That's why I'm your partner. Help put them at ease. Well, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Partner. You okay? Yeah, sorry. It's nothing. Let's go. Casualties continue to mount over the long years I've struggled. More and more I find myself wondering if it's all worth fighting for. Maybe one day I'll find out. Hey, hey! Uyo Ngenti! Alafanya nini hapa? You don't have to get touchy. Let's go. There is one thing I do know. I have a job to do, and I'm gonna see it through. Coming in loud and clear, Kirk. Yes, we lead you. There's a black market weapons deal going down in Kijuju. That's where Irving will be. The Alpha team has already infiltrated the area, and you will be going in as backup. Rendezvous with your contact at the butcher's shop. You can gear up and get briefed on the mission. You're both here. Come. You too. This way. But maybe because of the new government, the people around here are a little on edge. You should do what you came here to do and go home. Yeah, they really roll out the red carpet for us Americans. I have your weapons for you here. 
Jetham. Grab your weapons. The operation's already started. Destination coordinates? Town squares up ahead. Go through there. Alpha team's waiting at the deal location. Good. What do you know about Uroboros? Mostly just rumors. Something about visions of a doomsday project. Doomsday sounds about right, and apparently it is no rumor. You're kidding, right? You must find a man named Irving. He's our only lead. And be careful out there. Remember, we're a team. Whatever happens, we stick together. Don't worry. I may not be as big as you, but I can still hold my own. You grab it. Okay. You grab it. Roger. You grab it. Okay. Did you hear that? It came from that building. They didn't move like any zombies I've ever seen. We should keep moving. They'll find us soon. Kirk. The locals were hostile and we had to use force. We don't have any contingency plans for this situation, Roger. do we, Kirk? Roger on the locals, but your orders still stand. 
What does that mean? Was HQ expecting this? Come on! Forget it! You grab it. Okay. Take it. Roger. You grab it. Okay. You grab it. Okay.
Ship's on the way. Got it. Yeah. I just hope you get some quick. 